Hey guys, Rage Vipers here, and welcome back to episode 14 of the Pyrus Mod Pack Let's Play. So, between episodes, I've finished off building the house, and I've also moved all the items that were inside the old house in here. So, as you can see, I've set up a storage area, and I've sorted out my items, and I've put a few of them down, such as the uncrafting table that we might need to check out at some point. But I didn't realise that when you... Uh, mine up a macerator it turns it back into a basic machine casing so if we do need to use a macerator at any point then we will have to make another macerator for us that's just a problem we're gonna have to deal with now I'm not sure whether or not to make another two iron furnaces just because this doesn't look right does it uh, yeah let's make another two iron furnaces just so it looks nicer because I can't put up with that so I believe it, you can make it with just two furnaces and then is it five iron or is it iron plates? Hmm, I can't remember but we'll make two furnaces anyway and then we can figure that out later. I can just search it up if I want. So there we go, furnace and then if I put it down and I, oops, try this. Okay, no, I think it's iron plates. So I'll just hammer out some iron plates and then we'll have ourselves 10, not 10, what am I about? Two more iron furnaces. I don't need the cutters, I can leave them in there. I don't know why I didn't use the uh, crafting table right near it, but oh well. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, we're going to need 10, why am I getting 20? 10, there we go. And then I believe it's like this. If I put them like that. Yes, there we go two more iron furnaces so we'll put this uh, forge hammer back and we will put back the iron so ingots in there and we will go place these iron furnaces where they need to be there we go now what we're going to be trying to do today is upgrade our storage for our for our quarry I should say to a crystal chest you can't really read that for the uh, GUI but a crystal chest is much much bigger than a uh, regular single chest and you can also see the items that are in it which I think is kind of cool but we'll just check I did recently empty this out because it wasn't near enough overflowing and it's quite full already we'll just see how far it's dug uh, it's got quite a lot dug out I'd say we should be starting to get to actually we are getting to quite a few ores right now and we will have to make it sort stuff out soon but it looks like Actually, it looks like there's a monster spawner over here. Oh no, I'm drowning. I need blocks quick. Oh no, don't drop them. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> quick, we're going to have to go back and get it. That was not part of my plan at all. I didn't want to drown. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's hope we can get there and pick all our stuff up and not drown again. Uh, I kind of wish it did go down in water quicker. Because if I could have got to the bottom, I could have easily placed down a block and used a... Uh, what the heck's happened here? Okay, that's another GUI bug with the uh, quarry. It's showing an old arm that isn't actually there. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, come on, let's see if we can get down there. Oh, because it's like just too far to get there without starting to drown. But if we get these blocks here... There we go. Uh, well, no, torches, there they are. Oh, phew. There we go, so we should be fine now. The quarry is going to come and try and, well, is going to come and break those blocks, so we can't hang around too long. Uh, it's coming over to break them. I will put down another torch, get air again. Uh, food, food. Uh, I've just put the stake back when I shouldn't have. Uh, quick, air again. Oh, I wish I'd like a uh, underwater helmet or something like that. There might be something in the mod that does uh, an underwater helmet, but we're going to get into this monster swan here, so we can just keep putting torches down, and I'll sort out my inventory, so I'm on, put away, oh, I just threw them out, oops, I mean, I, not I mean, I should put them on my hands, how do I do that, I've forgotten, oh, it's back in this, accessories, then, oh, I'm drowning again, no! Okay, and then, uh, oh yeah, back to backpack, and then put it out like this, and it should be fine if we don't drown anyway. 
Uh, it's probably not the best place to be sorting out my inventory, is it underwater? But it, it, it will annoy me if I do it. So I've got to. Oh no. No, 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 no. Drowning again. We're nearly done. And. Let's go up there. And. Sword can go there. Axe can go there. Put the torches down again. Right, so we'll quickly have a look what's in the. Ooh. String. Bit of gold. And. Oh, a portal gun. Alright, I'll show you what a portal gun does in a minute if you haven't seen before. But we'll just have a look in this other chest as well. But I need to eat first. Also, I'm not going to regenerate any hearts. Uh, not bad. Not bad, really, is it? A bit of golden iron. I hear some zombies. Are, oh, I shouldn't have gone up. I'm going to start drowning again. Jeez. What am I doing? Why did I do that? I think uh, we're probably going to lose this monster spawner because... The quarry will mine it up, but oh well. We got the stuff out of the um, chests anyway, so that's good enough. Oh, it's night time. Best sleep in my bed. So we'll quickly get back and we'll put these items away in our new chest. Uh, not our new chest, in our new storage system, I should say. And then we'll get on with making ourselves a crystal chest. So this isn't probably going to be my bedroom in here, but I haven't fully decided how it's going to look. I've just put the bed down and put those two crafting tables down. So let's come through here and these, this, oh yeah, I'm going to show you what the portal gun does. I totally forgot. Right, so if you have ever played, if you ever played portal or portal 2, you should really know what these do because this is literally the portal gun out of that game and it is probably like what you think. So if you left click, it'll shoot a portal out and then if you right click it will shoot a different colored portal out so then if you jump in this one you'll come out of the other one if you go through that one you'll come out of this one but that's about it it's quite good for getting around and it's useful for getting between long distances but i don't know how you actually pick those up now so i'm just gonna i'll leave them like here yeah and then i'll come back maybe some other time well i don't even need to come back to them because if i shoot it again it'll get rid of them so that'll, that'll be fine anyway, I can leave them there. But we'll just put these items away in our chests, and then we'll look at the crafting recipe for the crystal chest. Now, I've looked at it already, and it seems like we could get it built quite easy. We do have enough diamonds for it. So we will actually... Where do I want to put the string? That would go in just normal items, yeah. Gunpowder would go in the powders. I mean, dust we go so get a bit more gold out and some more iron do we have enough wood yes we do that's good so I believe the first thing we need to do is create a normal chest because I think that's what the whole thing's based off of let's just have a quick look so glass around a diamond chest diamonds glass around a gold gold around an iron chest and then iron around a normal chest we can definitely do that Oops, didn't mean to open the chest, I meant to eat my food. So we'll come in here and we'll put the iron around the chest. There we go. And then we'll put the gold around it to get ourselves a gold chest. And now we need to get two diamonds and we'll need six glass to turn it into a diamond chest. And then we'll need eight more to turn it into a crystal one. So that's 14 uh, other blocks it'll be in, yeah. So now I'll get 14 pieces of glass together. Oops, one too many there. And then we can craft ourselves a diamond chest and then a crystal chest. So diamonds like this, gold chest there, and then surround the diamond chest with glass, and there we go. So now that is a huge amount of storage, and if we put stuff in, you can actually see it from the outside, which I think is quite cool. But we will go and use this to upgrade our quarry storage because the quarry really does need it. So we'll put our ingots back and we'll go over there and upgrade it. I don't think there's that many blocks in it, so we shouldn't lose a load. And I'll probably take the ores out myself just to make sure that we don't lose any important blocks. So we'll take all these ores out here and that and the coal. And then we'll just break them and whatever we pick up we can put back in. Oops, I should probably use my axe. 
There we go. Oh, that's a lot of items. Okay. Yeah. So put down the crystal chest and then we'll put all the ores back in. There we go. And just put all these back in here. Might as well. And order. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Order them alphabetically, I guess. And there we go. So now we've got that done. Oops, I should put these. Oh, it's quite a bit still around the chest. Uh, okay, don't let me pick it up then. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, now we need to get with getting some obsidian, because I believe we do need it soon. And I think it's in quite a few crafting recipes, as well as needing it for a nether portal if we ever want to go there. So I will speed run it and I will collect up some obsidian and I'll be back in a minute. So see ya. Right, so I'm back and I've collected up a stack of obsidian, so we should end up using that at some point for crafting or maybe making a portal. I do remember for some reason we needed it when I was looking at something, but that took a bit longer than I thought because I didn't realise I was going to have to put out a fire underground with the oil on fire covering over the some of the obsidian. I didn't want to mine it up, uh, mine up the obsidian with the burning oil next to me, so I cleaned it up, that took a while. But I think next episode we might 
use some of this obsidian to make something. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time.